I'm sure you've heard the phrase saving face, but what does it mean? Saving face basically means preventing people from embarrassment or shame, both others and yourself. It's an important cultural value that you need to know if you're going to do business or work in another country. So if you're going to do business or work in another country that values saving face, you'll need to adapt your communication style. So to find out some best practices and to learn which countries value saving face, keep watching this video. Cultures in which saving face is important usually will not appreciate direct comments or criticism. You need to speak diplomatically, even indirectly, in order to save face. Therefore, if you need to give feedback to a group of people, be careful. Don't use any critical statements which may embarrass them in front of others. Don't use harsh language or show anger, as it may break the relationship and make working together very difficult. You can try two techniques for saving face. Number one, try the feedback sandwich. Start with a positive comment and then your constructive criticism, which should be formed diplomatically, of course, and then finish with a positive comment. Number two, give the feedback one-on-one. -on -one. But remember, even in an individual scenario, it would be a good idea to use the feedback sandwich mentioned in number one. Keep in mind that the saving face dynamic also exists for the other way around. If you're asking them to give you feedback about yourself, the company, or the project that you're doing together, they will usually not say anything negative directly to your face in order to avoid embarrassing you. If you ask for feedback, you may or may not get an answer. If you do get an answer, it may seem vague. Keep in mind that if they do have some negative opinion, chances are they're not going to share it with you there in the meeting, but they may complain to fellow colleagues outside the meeting. If you are the leader of a team and you really need to get feedback, try doing it in an anonymous way, like through an unsigned comment form or through an online feedback collection method. But what if you really need to just discuss matters openly with your team? If you're working in a culture where they value saving face and you really need to get honest feedback, some managers have succeeded in doing this by establishing an environment of, let's say, psychological safety. That is a place where sharing openly is okay and feedback is given in the spirit of positivity and encouraging improvement, teamwork, etc., and not from a place of criticism or negativity. It takes time to inculcate a company culture like this in a country where saving face is important, but it can be done. In these cases, it's really important that the manager has a positive attitude and builds relationships with their team. So in which cultures do you have to be careful about saving face? Well, you'll have to think about this if you travel or do business in China, Korea, Japan, Indonesia, the Philippines, Malaysia, Singapore, and India and Pakistan. Also, if you go to the Arab world like Saudi Arabia and the UAE. If you are going to work or do business abroad, be sure to read up on the culture's perceptions towards saving face before embarking on your journey. Thanks for watching this video and please click subscribe so you can get additional intercultural lessons. Bye for now.